Item number SCP-6610. Object class, safe, update, Euclid, update, uncontained. Special containment procedures. As of August 11th, 2022, SCP-6610 is uncontained. See addendum 6610 Due to low threat level posed by SCP-6610's theft, Recontainment is considered a low-priority task. Description SCP-6610 is a Canon Laser Class 830i fax machine produced in 2010 by Canon Incorporated. The machine's input can be accessed by any secondary fax machine as normal and can be reached at the number 213-867-5309 While powered on, the machine causes an intense memetic effect wherein anything printed by it is treated as instructions that will be carried out by one or more related persons. See Addendum 6610-1 and Addendum 6610-2 SCP-6610 was recovered during the raid on GOI-6696's compound. SCP-6610 has occasionally printed messages believed to be originating from one or more parties related to GOI-6696 without any prior input from Foundation personnel. Gathered evidence suggests that this has resulted in a potentially severe info breach. See Addendum 6610-2. These parties have been designated GOI-6610. Addendum 6610-1. Testing Logs. Test 1. Procedure. Attempted to print the message, Hello World. Result. The machine's display changed to read, Company in use. Please stand by. Test 2. Procedure. First test was repeated after 5 hours. Result, the machine's display changed to read, Currently in use, please stand by. Test 3, Procedure, attempted to print the message, Testing, testing, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Result, the machine's display changed to read, Currently in use, please stand by. Superfluous logs redacted for brevity. Test 22, Procedure. Attempt to print the message. God, I wish someone would get me a cup of coffee. Result. SCP-6610 printed the message. Three minutes later, Dr. Connors entered SCP-6610's containment room and handed IT assistant Michaels a cup of hot coffee. Test notes. I asked him how he knew I wanted coffee, and Connors said he just felt the urge to make a cup for whoever was working in here. I've never met him before in my life. Maybe there's more to this thing? Test 28. Procedure. Attempt to print the message. Let me see Lucy. Result. SCP-6610 printed the message. One of the site's human relations team members called IT assistant Michael's emergency home phone. HR then urges his wife to come to the facility. She was then granted entry to the facility, setting off an intruder alarm. Michael saw her as she was being taken to an interview room where she was interviewed, then later amnesticized and released. Test notes. Recovering simple machines such as this from maids was probably meant to be more of a money-saving venture at first, but I think we've stumbled across something bigger than just an appliance. Going to alert the interview team to my findings and see what they make of it. Addendum 6610 Incident Logs Date August 7th, 2022 Description SCP-6610 printed the following message on a sheet of paper. Cleanup report. Cleanup went exceedingly well, aside from a couple of hiccups. Missing some materials, though. Lost materials. Seven historical log entries, six shipments of memory juice, one altered match effects machine. I believe the match effects machine was taken by the janitors. Uh, could be useful for a date of recovery. Crimson Call, High Magician. Incident Results 
A member of Site 19's Level 1 janitorial staff was recorded on security cameras frequently cleaning SCP-6610's containment room. Of note, the staff member hiccuped twice after finishing the cleaning. They then entered the log storage room with misplaced seven boxes, stood still for approximately two minutes, then removed SCP-6610 from its containment room and attempted to bring it to his personal storage locker. This triggered a low-level containment breach alarm. The staff member was subdued, interviewed, and publicly amnesticized. While being subdued, site security noted that they were found crying and repeating the phrase, What is memory juice? Date, August 8th, 2022. Description. SCP-6610 printed the following message on a sheet of paper. Thanks for the response, boss. I took the liberty of siphoning data about ourselves from their servers. Aside from the initial payload we sent them, they ran in with Earth show host and some logs from and regarding the raid. There hasn't been much. I'll begin siphoning other data starting tomorrow. Crimson Call, High Magician. Incident results. Dr. Petro was found in her office frantically and uncontrollably reading documents regarding the raid on GOI 6696's compound. An investigation to determine exact sources and methods through which the information was obtained by the unknown party is currently underway. August 9th, 2022. Description. A bag of trolls ends unbelievable butter popcorn manifested on top of SCP-6610. The standard emergency cat counters installed on SCP-6610's containment room measured the bag at a Hume level of 100.5. This is 0.5 Humes above baseline reality standards. Instant results. A brief investigation determined that the bag appeared as a result of a minor pharmaceutical process. This has allowed the Foundation's Pharmaceutical Studies Division to track the original location of the item's enchantment performance. SCP-6610 has been reclassified to Euclid accordingly. August 10th, 2022. Description. SCP-6610 printed the following message on a sheet of paper. One of the jackasses in a freaking paper filing department left a bag of popcorn on top of the machine, and now we're being tracked by the janitors. We're being tracked by a bag of freaking popcorn, boss. I thought about blowing up their magic facts, but maybe it's better to just take it back. Save some materials, you know. Up to you. Uh, let me know as soon as you can, and I'll go handle it then. This will be my last message for the time being, just in case they're reading. Crimson Call, High Magician. Incident results. A member of Site 19's Double One Fouling staff took a bag of uncooked popcorn from the staff break room and placed it on top of SCP-6610. SCP-6610 played a dial-up tone, then displaced the bag to the top of Site 19's IT Department Experimentation Fax Machine. The bag produced a Hume level of 100.5. A request for further testing on SCP-C610's presumed teleportation capabilities has been submitted. Site 19 security personnel have been informed of threat to steal SCP-6610 and have made preparations accordingly. Date, August 11th, 2022. Description. The door to SCP-C610's guarded containment cell became unlocked. The door opened itself, at which point a man dressed in a top hat and a red suit and tie manifested in the doorway. The man held his hands from around him, as though he were pressing them against an invisible surface, then walked into the room, triggering an intruder alarm. Site 19 security attempted to detain the man, but found that he was surrounded by an invisible barrier, and thus could not be physically reached. The man approached SCP-6610, then turned to face the security personnel. He stated, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, watch as I make this machine disappear. 
The man opened his mouth and reached his right thumb and index finger inside, then removed a long blue cloth. He draped the cloth over SCP-6610 and then removed it, causing SCP-6610 to demanifest. The man shouted, VALA! He then bowed and draped the cloth over himself. When the cloth was removed, the man vanished before your very eyes! Another stunning performance by Crimson Carl, High Magician! Instant results. SCP-6610 has been lost.